Johnson hasn't missed a beat. Congratulations goes to him. Uh, even picking his way for a tricky track blockage in the uh, last stages of that. And once he got through that, the job was uh, pretty much done, really. But here he comes, getting up and out. Please put your hands together for your number four, Dan Johnson. Well done, Dan. Trophy and checker flag. Uh, first of all, congratulations and welcome back. Second of all, have you missed it? Of course we've missed it. Yeah. Car absolutely flying. You've been doing a bit of work with it behind the scenes? Yeah, it doesn't look no different, but we've we've got it back to where it was when it was good around Coventry and stuff with all the ride heights which was miles out and spring rates and everything. So we've gone back to old school and it seems to be working. I think we've got in a bit of a rut all different bits and bats. We've just gone completely back to how it were about five years ago um, and seems to be good. Well, it's absolutely flying around there. Obviously, um, you were catching Jeff anyway. The trap blockage down there, was it just a case of uh, just looking ahead and, and poor old Jeff didn't quite see it as clearly as you? No, Jeff's always a good good shell racer and I knew we were going to... I thought, well, oh, just let's go for it instead of making massive lunges to try and catch him. I thought, well, if I catch him, if I can have a last bender on him, um, we'll try and do it. But he unfortunately got caught up and it was a shame, really, because it would have been a good finish to eat one. And what's the plan for this year? Is it, is it shell or is it all and, tr and try and go for everything again? Yeah, go for it all really. Main championships, um, want to win that big one. I know it might not happen again, but we'll just keep trying and trying harder. But yeah, we'll just take it as it comes and do as many meetings as we want, early doors and probably till the end. Um, see how we go. Good man, Dan. It's good to see you back. Dan, you're in with a good chance of getting the honours in the White Top World win. And then he just blew the field away in that one, it must have felt good. That was all about confidence built from the first race, to be totally honest. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, in a race that had some tricky customers in there, certainly, to fend off, um, nobody ever got near yet. Have you done a lot of work on the car? We said to Dan, has he done a lot of work on over the winter? This certainly, yourself and the car seem as one tonight. To be totally honest, this winter, absolutely no work on the car at all. We did it all the winter before. We only did two or three meetings, so it was kind of embedded it in, got the gremlins away, and now we're good to go for this year. And did you feel it was going to go as well as it has done so far tonight? I mean, normally you're up there in, in the early stages of most races, but you just went away from the field. You never expected to go like that. You, do, you can't even dream it. And now you get a bit of time off and we'll see you later on in the final. Let's hope so. It's just the scales. The scales are my demons. Let's get through that first. <laughs> Good luck with that, mate. We'll let you have a fire in and it's lap of honour time for Darren Clark. The front left is near enough off the rim, but uh, it was a fantastic drive. Trophy and check and flag. What a mate. Um, fantastic performance. I said at the start of the race that you're fairly quick round here and uh, had a chance, but no one quite knows how anyone's going to go after a few months off. But it didn't look like you were missing a beat out there. I'd like to think so. <laughs> but again, as I just said to Darren in the previous race, a lot of heavy hitters out there, some real big names. I mean, the heats are pretty much doing up. It could be a final really out there tonight. Shows the progress that the lower graded drivers are making. Uh, I can't imagine you'll be hanging around at Yellow too long. I uh, hope not, but there is, uh, very, there's a lot of fast cars and you need to get going. Yeah, absolutely. I see you putting the bumper in uh, fairly early doors. We didn't really seem to stop the momentum too much. No. no. Which was good, really. And um, it'd be an interesting final. Certainly, as we've seen some lower graded drivers out there with some really good pace, um, it, you know, you could make the jump on you know, the guys at the back, if they're muscling in, and there's certainly not too much difference out there in a minute. Let's hope so. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to get a double, wouldn't it? Well, top three. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. I'll let you get a try, uh, photo, and then we'll get you on the lap of honour. Winner over, first final winner of 2021, and well-deserved as well, with a fantastic drive. He does always go well around here. It's Mark Gilbank. <laughs> well done, Mark. Congratulations. Um, First of all, you must be over the moon considering the amount of cars we've got booked in to not just win the final but hold two fantastic drivers at bay. Um, you and the car just looked absolutely on song in that final. That car, you know, it's uh, proved it time and time again. It's a big block. Me and Ali are both running big blocks, and I still say to this day, and I've just proved it, I'll put them against anybody. You don't need small blocks, you just need to concentrate on your package and get it right. Well, so we're, uh, if you're out running these two, you're doing well. 
Absolutely. I mean, the pace in the straights was incredible. He seemed to have a really nice smooth line in, into the corners as well. And considering that everything that was going on, it, it certainly worked in your favour. Well, I've been doing it long enough, so I should know how to turn a corner. <laughs> yeah, I know, but listen, I've, I've watched plenty tonight to uh, maybe think, you know, maybe one or two, I don't know. But uh, listen, it was a great performance. Double up for the Grand National. Looking forward to the season and see what comes of it. Yeah, I mean, I've got to score uh, some good points, qualify as early doors, because I didn't get any last year. I, I were obviously injured when we had a big crash at the other end of the track here. First time back in car, and it's... Uh, Let's get back on horse and make it run, so to speak, isn't it? Well, it is going to be an exciting season. You're going to be a massive part of that. And, you know, Shale seems to have uh, come to the fore again. So, uh, well, who knows? It could be a big year for you. It's just great to be back. Fans, everybody, you know, it's a good thing for a Saturday night, isn't it? Uh, you know, we're not, we're not in house bored. Not that I've been bored, but uh, to be fair, it's, uh, it's just great to be back, isn't it, everybody? Uh, but that's right. And, uh, you know, Liam's coming on last. He's been a bit unlucky in the, in the heats tonight, but uh, he'll bounce back as well, won't he? Oh, years to come. He's just—he's still cutting his teeth. He's still learning, but he's got me behind him, my dad, the team, and at the end of the day, you know, it's—he's uh, he's a good driver and he's ambitious and he wants it all the time. So he'll come to the top at some point. Sounds good to me. Right, I'll let you get your photos and get on the lap of honour, Mark. Congratulations, brilliant stuff, Mark Gilban. He got photos. Mark Gilban then taking the honours. Uh, Dan Johnson coming home in second, and Tom Harris third.
to a stop. And everyone that checked out that needs to be, we are back on the way with racing. Suits, uh, 246 Bert turns it round that through on 662 and uh, he's uh, slipped himself by the looks of him doing that. So uh, Bert with a huge uh, shot there. Indeed, uh, the XJ40 looking at very much uh, the worst for wear now. 739 Jason Moore just managing to make his way through. Oh, and here we go. No! Decides to leave that gamble alone in 224. Slightly uh, unexpected indeed. 224 Lewis Cannon also uh, driving by the scrapyard screamer. So it would seem he's got himself a charmed existence. And now on the nose from 349 Allard, hard on 506. The money teams at Danny Mitchell there. Four. And, uh, going in uh, on that 349 that uh, Allard as well. More than the whole 639. Williams uh, collecting uh, to uh, 24. So Ty Williams gets clear in the uh, roller. Three double eight one. Now in the on the nose of that two four six Bertie. And he's still got drive, but uh, it's uh, a very, very bent and messy XJ40 now for Aston Bert. Harry Gelsthorpe with three to go next time there, Mr. Starmer. So three uh, next time round. Gelsthorpe in uh, the Travel 5 car. Oh, once again. In on the nose uh, from 388 Lob. 24630. And uh, everyone else coming in uh, down here as well. So 224 Cannon in through the back wheel uh, of that 739 Jason Moore. Shorty through the doors of Moore as well in turn. Cannon spinning out. Over there. So Allard trying to battle on in that 3 at 49. Front, uh, Harry Gelsorp in trouble five the rest of the places we will uh, have to uh, establish from the hat charts uh, at the end of this one meanwhile Allard getting caught up but with that uh, I think he's filled that over there Take four, Filmer turns it round uh, for a go at uh, Trouble 5 Gelsorp, but uh, Gelsorp does uh, come through uh, to survive and take the victory. Gelsorp wins it as uh, 8 8 4 Filmer. Comes in through the front wheel of 2 2 4 Lewis Cannon. Oh, and in the, on the nose that uh, we go from Treble 5 Gelsthorpe on that 884 fill that actually a lot, Mr. Starter. Now we go to Reds uh, on that. Uh, we go to uh, Reds, please. I think that's about it, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah, I think so. I had to weld the A-pillar back in for the first go, so I'll try to pull it. I'll try. Uh, you're enjoying racing the Predators, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Good team to race with. So, yeah. love a good crash, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? So, absolutely. What, what about the rest of the boys? Because there was you and Damo out in this one. Knuckles. Yeah, I think Knuckles is scrapped. Chris Blue ended up, but I think uh, Slim's back out for the final. So, super. And what about Brad? Has he got to go and do some bin collections? Or yeah, he's uh, got to go home as ever and all that shit. He might be out. You never know. Poor <laughs> <laughs> them boys. Brilliant things. Yeah, he stages that one, but you worked your way into it really nicely. 
and Jacob just had no answer for him whatsoever. You, you're a dominant man in this former in a minute, going really, really well, and another championship to the roof. Yeah, just had to stay out of trouble, to be honest with you, and this is the one I've really wanted. My granddad won it in 1966 in his Bristol Formula One. Now I can say I've done it. You certainly can. Listen, what I like about you is that you're at the top of the game, you win championship after championship, but they all still mean so much to you. Everyone's the same, each race, each and every race, a win's a win, especially winning championships. I treat them all the same and I love it. And not only that, to do it in a formula that is just growing by the meeting, really, you know, 80, 1300 saloon stock cars here and, and you're still coming out on top. I've said it for a long time, these 1300 stock cars are one of the best formulas out there. You've got drivers from all over the country travelling week in, week out, and it says it all today, 80 stock cars on a track on a lovely day like this. Well, what a day. Gonna be one hell of a night, isn't it? Oh, looking forward to it. <laughs> don't 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 uh, exclude me, we am I invited? Of course you are. <laughs> oh super. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Lee Pierce. Here he comes. Come on, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, get up on the roof, Michael! Your British champion is 349, Michael Allard! Well, Michael, congratulations. First of all, happy birthday, finally. Yeah, bank time, isn't it? <laughs> um, I said as soon as it started, you, you looked well on it. Um, Barry Rancic, Shane dropped off, but the pace of the car, the driving style, everything, it just was superb. Yeah, I didn't know who was behind me. <coughs> was, was he second or not? Ah. So I was looking and he was catching me. I thought he was second. So I was doing stupid things. It could have all gone wrong. <laughs> they could have done, but they didn't. Oh, listen, you must be over the moon, because second, plenty of times, but it just shows the consistency there. And finally, you've got the championship to go on the roof you deserve. Yeah, I've never won a major, to be honest with you. So this is the first, hopefully more to come. Yeah, well, and I'm sure everybody here will hope and wish that there is more to come for you because you're one of the sports nice guys and, and I know everyone wants you to do well. Yeah, no more than me though, I want to do really well. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right, but it is hard work out there, you know, there's a lot of talented drivers, it's not easy, especially at the minute when the championships are coming thick and fast, it must be hard work in the garage behind the scenes to get the car ready all the time and to be in the right frame of mind to compete in them. Yeah, we had a good, we had a bad tournament, but we've rolled on from now, so we're just keep going and going hopefully that's what we want to see and uh, no better way to spend your birthday racing and definitely no better way than getting your first major championship yeah not bad really my missus was moaning but she can't now can she no, no absolutely she can't let's get the championships uh, let's get him over come on Mike.